So where we start? You tell me, this your show. So the name Hitmaker, right? Right. So how many hits do have you made? I got 14 number ones. I done sold 110 million records and 12, like almost 12 billion streams. So why isn't your name Hitmakers with the S at the end? Uh, Cause it's only one of me, bro. No, but you are. You make more than one hit. Hit maker mean that it's just probably one hit. Nah, nah, nah. Let's it's talk like, about it. It's hit like maker. Every time I go do it, every time I go to the studio, it's a hit maker. It's a hit. Also, I'm you a, do it. It's, it's different. Yeah, I'm a record man. You so know you wouldn't put them all in one. <laughs> nah, man. It's a span of time, though, man. I've Stick been in this shit it. since like 2007. I say you're the only guy probably in history to be able to change your name and still be you. And some people are like, oh, yeah. hey, you know that, right? Some people like, <laughs> nobody ever rebranded themselves. So can you explain the difference? Uh, like the name is your, is your real name? Or no. you me, was that was just a rapper name? Would that come about? So and, my real name is Christian. And then from there, I used to wear a bunch of iceberg clothes back in the day. You remember when mm -hmm. they had iceberg and all that shit or whatever? So they started calling me Iceberg. Mm -hmm. Then Eve, the rapper, named me Youngberg. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I ain't gonna lie, like I was just in a studio working. It wasn't even like I was trying to rebrand. It was really like God for real. Like one day I just was before the song, I was doing a demo to the shit and I was like, Hitmaker. And I was like, oh shit, I like it, that, that stick. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I just kept saying it, cause like, I had a few hits or whatever, but shit, when I said this shit, you know what I'm saying? It was really like a bold statement. I ain't really mm -hmm. know, it was just something that happened. I thought it was fly, so I stuck with it. So what I got from that story is, when somebody gave you the name that you had at first, mm -hmm. you didn't like that. <laughs> so you decided to make your own name. That's what it sounded like. But I'm saying if we think about it, not saying it if it's just like, I didn't like it, but. Nah, but I like Christian. Do your hoes call you funny, Marco? Mm -hmm. Like when you beating, like, it's funny, no. funny Marco. No, but look, this is what I'm saying though. So you got the name Youngberg from E. Right. But Hitmaker is what you really are. Yeah. So it was kind of like she gave you the name, but it was like, uh, no. Nah. Like you went with it, but God told you, this ain't true, this is you. I guess you could look at it like that or right. whatever. Like That's you found your own lane. Like, yeah, kind of say sure. you don't like to take from nobody. Nah, for sure. Right. At first, when I first saw it, I'm like, this mm -hmm. guy's a model, mm -hmm. or it looked like a basketball player. Mm hmm. When you first came out, I thought you was like a basketball player that didn't make it, so you started rapping. Bro, I'm like five foot seven, six. I ever seen I mean, it's short five too. seven with Tim's, maybe. You wouldn't say that you look like a basketball player too. <laughs> no, nigga. <laughs> I'm nice though. Like yeah. I, I, I could shoot, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But I'm, I'm, I don't think so. I might be a little too short. I might be Muxy Bogues in the, out that mm -hmm. bitch for real. So when the song came out, gave you the business. I remember like that was a big like. Gave you the business, not gave you the yeah. Give, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Let's get that right. Pause. So when that came out, that took. Over, like, how was you in that stage? Like, was there a lot coming at you? Was like, man, in that stage, it was kind of, um, I was wild. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right mm -hmm. now, like, I'm, I'm more laid back, you know what I'm saying? But back then, like, my days used to be like, I wake up, pop an XC pill, go to the studio, and just work all day or whatever, have a whole bunch of girls in the studio. So that song, The Business, I did the song in one take from top to bottom, one take, and sang Shorty Park Casher. It turned into like a little cult classic. Like, I feel like, People still be meeting me and be like, I was in high school talking about give you the business and I ain't know that. I was like, oh shit, my, mm -hmm. my bad. <laughs> you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, but right, right, right. I was young, we was just vibed out. So like moving forward now, where do you actually see yourself like in six months? More hits. I think uh, I'm in a position right now to where uh, I see myself like running like the head of a, a company. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. to be like the CEO, like, Walmart I'm, like or the app. <laughs> no nigga, like like Def Jam, like fucking Universal, like Interscope, mm -hmm. like Columbia, like that type of shit. So you could know you turn your name into a company, the hit maker? Yeah, I like I like that. What you mean? Like what could, that be a company? What could I, I sell? Sound a hit maker. Yeah, it is a company. We got mm -hmm. well no, we make it sound is my company. But mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? All the producers and a few writers they signed up under the it's mm -hmm. a company, it's a joint venture. All right. Cause you've been around for a, a long time, mm -hmm. you've been seen a lot. Mm -hmm. And just what it comes to it is just like with making music. Uh, I love the uh, project that you got with Tink. I love. Like, oh, okay, love. That, that was. That's Hell really yeah! Good. Hell yeah! And sure. what? How did that come about? Did you just? Did you solicit to her? You like? I no, work with her? that's what's so crazy. Um, she like in a generation that's younger than me, mm -hmm. and I wasn't familiar with her music at pretty much like. A, a, at all for real for real and i became a vice president of empire records mm -hmm. and once i got over there her manager mickey reached out to me and she's on empire and we locked in the studio and um we've done two projects and then we working on a new one right now so do you see like 
You see somebody you like, I see a star in them? Nah, for sure. Like, she got it. And she got a cult fan base. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, and I just felt like she never really got the um, mainstream platform. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, she was just like a diamond in the rough. So I wanted to put my arms around her and basically just putting her out there more mainstream, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's working out very well. All right. I feel like from me being a supporter of rap, rap artists mm -hmm. and singers, it's hard to stay relevant sometimes. Even right. when you, like, you can be great at what you do. It's just about. If you take your art seriously, yeah. they just want you more drama. More people in drama is kind of like the spotlight of it. But yeah, hell you're really yeah. good at what you do. So how do you feel about that? Like, I mean, niggas just gravitate to negativity. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, if me and you go outside and feed the homeless right now and do something dope and post it up on your gram, it might go up. It might go up on my gram. But, like, we go outside and we go fight some homeless people or whatever, right. then it's going to be viral. It's going to be everywhere. So I think it's because everybody want to feel like my life ain't fucked up, too. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Even these rich niggas or famous niggas or whatever. That's why I think love and hip-hop is, like, so... Uh, was a staple and so big to whatever was going on because people get to see niggas that they think might have been in a better position than them or he famous, he rich mm -hmm. or this, that, and the third and they get to see a fucking downward spiral or some bullshit happening so it's like, it's like, oh, my shit ain't that bad. These mm -hmm. niggas regular just like me. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Critics are calling three. fear. One, two, three. <gasps> Wonderfully nasty. Appropriately grizzly. And self-aware. Three. Three. One, two, three. Fast paced and dread inducing horror. The symphony of screams, relentless, gruesome, and surprising. Three. Three. Sean Edwards says fear is as frightening as it is exhilarating. <laughs> fear. Rated R. Only in theaters now playing. Mm -hmm. Would you label yourself a ladies' man? Hell yeah. I ain't a niggas, man. Fuck no, I'm not just like that, but it's just like, kind of like, you know, like. Is it hard? Like when you come up with a lot of people want to talk to you, it's just kind of like girlfriends and then they want to be the main and then you want to work because you work a lot. Ladies man, maybe in the past. Right mm -hmm. now I'm just a record man. Like what you, you a, you a ladies man you feel like? Mm, nah, I'm just How real. you like holler at a, a vibe? Like you mm -hmm. more like a go up approach her or you mm -hmm. more like? Yeah, I wouldn't yell at them because then they gonna think I'm crazy. <laughs> I wouldn't holler at them. So a while back, is there anybody like when you was up and coming like a celebrity crush that you had and you shot your shot and she turned you down? Mm. Oh, I think Solange was mm -hmm. like, I, I went I went on Hot 97. This is when I had the business or whatever, and I was like, yo, I asked Angie Martinez to hook me up with Solange. It never really, really came through with it. I mean, Why I know. Why did you shoot your shot? You I, I did. I said it on Hot 97. Well, I'm you like, yo, hey, yo, what's up? <laughs> yo. <laughs> you scared to approach it? Nah, I ain't see her. I uh -huh. was just throwing that kite out there, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, to see what was going on. But I mean, yeah, uh, that's funny. Me and Angie was just talking about that mm -hmm. recently or whatever, but that's probably one that you know what I'm saying that ain't happen mm -hmm. so do you actually could we see you like bring up somebody like uh up and coming rapper that don't have a name, you like, I'm about to put this, I'm about to really put them on. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. If I'm working with a rapper or whatever, then uh, like I, I try and put them in a the game on some shit. Well, look, I'm writing songs, I'm producing songs, so let's work on your shit and let's write songs and do other shit for other different people, whatever. Shout out to my dog Ace Red, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I think, you know, he the, he the hardest nigga in the game on some rap shit and he the hardest nigga in Atlanta. I see that you're good at remaking songs and bringing them back to life. Mm -hmm. So, is there any songs that you got of yours that you gonna get to somebody and bring back to life? Yeah. Yo, I tried to redo the business. I like it. I was mm -hmm. gonna put it on my um, producer album that I got coming out, and I redid it. I like it, but I don't know. It might be like so I was why like, would you redo it? Why don't you give it to somebody else? I, because nobody's ever redid that. Never, so never done you? that before. I feel like that's a little clear. I don't, mm -hmm. I, maybe you know what I'm saying. Take like I got somebody else that you fuck with. I like that. Like a Tink and Summer Walker type collab would yeah, be crazy on some shit like that. Right. Yeah, I fuck with that. You make art. Ah, oh, for sure. So you're an artist or you're an artur. Um, I'm an executive. Mm -hmm. I'm a record man. That's mm -hmm. that's what I like to clarify myself as. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that behind the scenes know mm -hmm. how to put together different plays and like put artists in a different position, but I also get in the booth and get in the studio with you. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and create the album and mm -hmm. create the record with you. So a record man is my thing. You know? Craziest part of your career? Anytime when you was about to give it up and say fuck it? You know what? Nah, not really, because. Mm -hmm. uh, Bro, I, I ain't got shit else but this. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I, I I got my first record deal when I was 14. I dropped out of high school in ninth grade. So, like, I've only known music mm -hmm. my whole entire life. So it wasn't, like, no plan Bs on the shit. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I never really seen it quitting, but I definitely was like, man, fuck this shit sometimes. But mm -hmm. Do you look up to T-Pain? Hell yeah. 
Any nigga that say they don't, they a, they a liar. But so me and T Pain have like a real funny type of history or whatever. Mm -hmm. So like, is that um, what made you get an auto tune? No. Um. So look, speaking of that, okay, here we go. This is a good story. Let's go there. So, um, I was actually the the second nigga to do the tune, like for real, for real, the mainstream up after T Pain or whatever, because niggas didn't really touch it at that time. And I was on a scream tour with T Pain, a bunch of different people, and I like discovered the auto tune. I went and sang some shit, and um, I brought T Pain like on my bus, like or wherever the fuck we was. Or I got on T Pain bus, and I was like, bro, like I really need you to get on this record. T Pain was like the biggest in the game, and um, he was just like, uh, um. <laughs> Uh, shit, you sound good. You sound good doing it yourself. You don't even you need me like, on this shit. Like yeah, I'm just like, bruh, I came and played you the record. You the guy that does this shit. So he really kind of like, he probably flies on me or whatever. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying on that? But I mean, T-Pain a good guy. He's a funny nigga, yeah. like a, a hilarious guy. But like ultimately, like he's a good guy. We've had mm -hmm. our share of uh, mm -hmm. whatever, but it is what it is. Yeah, and just with that, do you feel like what coming up to an artist is a bad idea or go to their business person, do it the nah, right way? No, you got to do it artist to artist. Because mm -hmm. if you get with the business people, you don't know who lying to you. Mm -hmm. And then, like, you could be more upset behind that because you feel like, man, this nigga is standing behind management or standing behind lawyers or standing behind and when you could really just tell me yes or no. I'd rather nigga just t flat out tell me, like, no. Mm -hmm. Then it'd be like, um... You sound good, Yeah, 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 right, yeah exactly. Right, right, right. <laughs> so somebody come play you a record and you're mm -hmm. not feeling it. What's the best way to tell them you're not feeling it without saying I'm not feeling it? I don't like it. Mm -hmm. It ain't for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, And, and it's they, a fan, too. I don't know. I would just be like, nah, keep keep, keep hustling. Mm -hmm. You got to, you know what I'm saying, hit them with one of them. Keep going. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, that type mm -hmm. of shit. So do you age? Because you look the same age, like, every year. I don't know. You don't look older at all. It's just like you look just young. Yo, I don't know. It's like, it's that Virgo thing, man. It's mm -hmm. a Virgo type of vibe. But that's unfortunate too, being hit yeah. maker. Cause I wish like, if I did, I still look like young bird. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like hard, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like You didn't uh, used man. to wear a lot of hats back then. Yeah, I did. In the videos, your videos, you didn't wear hats for real. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. So look, here goes some crazy shit. I never told this story, right? So, um, I'm uh, I never I was I've never been allergic to nothing in my life, right? And I went. You to, have, but you didn't know. Exactly. So I went to Miami and I got a haircut, right? And a nigga gave me a haircut and he put like some black shit in my hair, like what's mm. it called? The uh, Beijing. Yes. And fucking like y'all could pull it up. Go look on Instagram. Y'all want to add this shit or whatever? Just hashtag my name. Like my face swole up like Will Smith from Hitch, nigga, and my hair start falling out. All type of shit or whatever. And like that's what really went bad for me. Mm. So like now I'm just like Ti one against the grain at ATL. I gotta like wear kick it like that. But mm -hmm. that's why I wear more hats. Did you sue? Nah. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Man, I don't know. I ain't know the nigga like that. Day, right? I ain't know the nigga like that. Mm -hmm. I was just referred so to you get let a haircut. Him try shit in your head. <laughs> <laughs> Pause. And you went to the hospital? Hell yeah, yeah. Did you pay that hospital bill? Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was fucked up. He so, owed down, huh? Yeah, so that that's mm -hmm. how that shit happened. That shit was crazy. That was traumatic. Sometimes we don't know until we figure it out. Nah, that shit was crazy. That shit fucked me up, bro. So what do you do on your spare time besides music? Do you like to, like, you know, play games? Do you... Um, really just rest, bro. Like, we mm -hmm. work six days a week in the studio. Mm -hmm. So when I leave here, I'm going to the studio. I'm going to be in that bitch for like 2, 3 in the morning and go back, do it you again. You got a studio at your house? Nah, hell no. Nah. I, I, don't, I don't like the studio and the house shit. Mm -hmm. It make you too... Um, Comfortable. Exactly. And then it's, for me, I don't go nowhere. So I like like putting on the drip that I buy or whatever. Or mm -hmm. and I actually feel like I'm going to work. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. I'm going to do something rather than just sliding out of bed. Not mm -hmm. really, you know what I'm saying? Getting fly and just going and making an idea. Which I ain't mad about that. Sometimes we do that, but I don't mm -hmm. want that to be my everyday. I want it to still feel like I'm going to the office. Mm -hmm. You was part of that record, the, uh, the Cater to You, right? That's Tink song. That, yeah, 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 that's our single. So Cater. was it hard to, to get that clear? It took a little bit, but nah, like the mm -hmm. process was was cool. And then um, shout out to Beyonce, shout out to the whole Destiny, shout out Rodney Jerkins. So she had to say yeah. Beyonce yeah. had to say yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. And I think that once we got that blessing, it's just like shit. It's it's one of them ones official. Would you do something with Beyonce? Could that happen? I would love to do, you know what I'm saying? I've worked very indirectly at certain times or whatever, but I never really locked in with her in the studio. I would mm -hmm. love to just like go crazy, crazy. That's good. No, mm -hmm. I feel like you can definitely save some people's career. <laughs> I heard, uh, what's her name? Alicia. Who? Alicia. She's a singer. Who that? Uh, she's up and coming. Mm -mm. 
Uh, she just started yesterday. I just followed her. She got 2,000 followers on Instagram. <laughs> I no, you, nigga. I think you can help her out. No, no. <laughs> Tell her to keep, keep going, keep going, keep hustling. No cap. <laughs> That's the favorite thing to say? Exactly. Uh, you do music? Uh, no, nah, I love music. I, I feel have like you have, a, you have a rap before? Nah, or sing? I like the rap I listen to is kind of motivation rap. Meek Mill, Nipsey. Stuff that I can kind of... Work with all three of them. I love them, bro. So, oh, you got some stuff with Nipsey? Multiple, multiple, multiple records. Mm. Me and Nipsey got signed at the same epic records so that's how we really met and hit it off and then it's crazy is um before he passed i sent him a record it's a collaboration i did with jeremiah or whatever and uh we were like yo like rihanna need to get on this man rihanna need to get on it blah 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 i ended up putting up my text messages out there in passing about like yeah we gotta get rihanna on this rihanna ended up reposting it or whatever mm. on her page or whatever so Man, that would have been crazy, man. The Nipsey yeah. and Rihanna record, damn. Yeah, that would have. Yeah. And he was already on there? Yeah, he was going crazy. Mm -hmm. So with that, is it something that you just have to, it will never come out? Like if you got anybody on there or? Nah, with respect to his family, it's really whatever they want to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, you know, like, that's a touchy situation. Mm -hmm. So like, I wouldn't never just like preview it or assume that I could do mm -hmm. anything with that without hitting the proper channels, proper yeah. protocol, you know? Yeah, music sometimes. I know there's a lot of business side that people don't worry about. Nah, like, you don't sure. think about, as a fan, we don't see that. We just like, just put it out. Mm -hmm. Like leaking stuff, is that a big problem? Like when people like, has they ever stressed you out? Have you ever got leaked? It, yeah, yeah, yeah. And how did that stress you out? I had a, a email that I had, like I had, I used to have an email called Youngberg at Gmail. And this how crazy it was, but I made the email Email, like in 2005 before nigga I was like popular or mm -hmm. whatever a nigga went and hacked my, my Gmail and like they leaked a few different things mm -hmm. or whatever so I had to switch that but that's the only time that it ever happened to me mm -hmm. like that favorite thing to eat while you're working sushi deep food vegan. or whatever mm -mm. I'm just I'm funny bro I ain't never ate like a sandwich before a hot dog a mm -hmm. hamburger like I never had nothing between two pieces of bread in my life I never had a Lunchable I never had a peanut butter and jelly a grilled cheese what you gotta get there it's just like, I don't like shit between two pieces of bread. You I never, never ate a burger? No, nigga, I've never been to Burger King. I've never been to motherfucking, um, it's crazy, none of this huh? shit. Like, no Wendy's burger, or never whatever. Ate a burger. I ain't lying, like, I, So barbecues, you don't, you don't. Wing me. So is that the key to staying young? Maybe, see? You might be on some, some shit like that. Like, no burgers, no hot dogs, no hamburgers. Uh, pets? You got any pets? No. So is it right now, is it an artist that you would like to work with? that we haven't seen? It's just like, I gotta get with them. If you can tell um, us here. She the, I like the girl Glorilla. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't work with her yet. Uh, well, you can set that up. You're watching this. Let's okay. get that. Yeah, I'll make that Let's play for that sure. A, that a, so could you say it's a difference with the LA culture and the Atlanta culture, New York culture, when you're working with them? Do you feel like you gotta adjust to them? Nah, because we do everything. It's not really a box that you could put us in. Like one day I could be doing a song uh, with with Ace, like a uh, fucking Mind Your Business, Lakia and Lotto. And the next day I could be doing a straight R&B song mm -hmm. with Chris Brown. Or the next day it could be something with Ty Dolla Sign. Next day it could be something with anybody. So it's not really no space and no box that you could really put us in. So what advice before we get out of here? What advice mm -hmm. do you got to people? That probably want to switch lanes from a rapper to, you know, I don't want to rap no more and start producing, like, to change their brand up. I would tell them that if you really a music person and you love the music and you think that your career is just based upon music 100%, what you need to do is always think that maybe you should evolve in your career. Maybe if you are a rapper and you reach a certain age or a certain plateau or you may have peaked, don't be afraid to become the manager because all the information you learned as being a rapper, you can now instill into the next generation. Or if you got a resume, like you should really pursue or try to be a uh, A and R or something like that. We need more people to actually do music inside of the buildings to dictate to the new people how music should be. But do you feel it's hard for people to take you seriously? Well, I used to rap, so just all he didn't make it rapping. He want to start doing that. People that think like that, what do you got to say to them? I think that's lame. Look at every coach that's in the NFL or whatever, like, mm -hmm. or look at all these different coaches in the NBA and all the other stuff or whatever. Like, it could be somebody that that never made it to all the mm -hmm. way to be an all star or something, but got enough knowledge or whatever to where they a coach Learn of a game. team. You know what I'm saying? If you Conglomerate. Think it, it's kind of like coming in as a, a cooker at Walmart, uh, at Popeyes, mm -hmm. and then you become the manager. So who gonna tell you that how to lame. motherfucking? Elevating. Yeah. Yeah. Drop that chicken and that grease at motherfucking whatever three hundred yeah. and whatever. The fuck so was it hard? I mean, if to think about it, was it somebody that you wanted to work with, and they was like, "Nah, I don't." And then now they see, like, okay, damn, he is doing what he said he was gonna do. And he was like, "I told you, I want to work with you." Oh, mad people, and yeah, mad that people? I might have want to collaborate with. Yeah, and then they just didn't see it. Would you work with him now? I already do. 
Oh, so you still like, okay, I'll go yeah, back. Yeah, like this shit a business. You know mm. what I'm saying? It's not like, it ain't nothing personal about certain things. The only thing you get personal when it's really with my dogs and with the people that I'm really so fucking you do with. Got a no, nigga. <laughs> my, my homies, my oh, brothers, okay. you know what I'm saying? I, I consider the people that I actually make records with, with the exception of, you know what I'm saying, one-off situations or random things, but the people I actually create with and, and, and take these trips with and vibe with is my family. Now, like I said, I saw a review of some of your interviews, and uh -huh. I say, like, you got a lot of knowledge, and I feel like Love, a lot of people could learn from you and be, like, take that spotlight. So, nah, for so real. I'm like, really ask good questions because people are learning from nah, this. Nah, I appreciate it's, it's that. It's about history. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I feel like you can change a lot of people's life by them listening to you. See, the, the, the whole play with me while I, I'm opening it up more and just doing more things is because my shit ain't, like, for me to go pop my shit, like, you know, like, I've, I've been through a bunch of shit in my whole career. I've had a career. Like, a lot of people can't say they've been in a, a certain business for 20 years. Mm -hmm. But now my whole play is to show people and make it a testimony because I actually did grow up in front of the camera. Y'all got to see me live my entire life damn near in front of a YouTube screen or whatever, and you can go watch it and break it down. So now it's like, man, if anybody been through anything, any hardships, any adversities, like how we were speaking about earlier, like, never give up. Mm -hmm. Like with God and hard work and you really put one foot in front of the next one and really mm -hmm. put that grind in, you can be wherever you want to be. Like, and if somebody told you different, they lying. Like, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I want to inspire the next shit. I'm mm -hmm. not really trying to be out here, you know what I'm saying? Like holding myself up and bossing myself up. Like I could do that on my own platform, on mm -hmm. Instagram or whatever. But when I come and like deliver a message and sit and talk with people, I want them to know like, man, like this shit a testimony. Like, yeah. and it, this could be your position, you know? Mm -hmm. I can see it, uh, see it to say, like, you know, before it, they end it, they give you a flyer. Just like our Jay-Z. You know, like, mm -hmm. my mom and them listening to Jay-Z, like, growing up, mm -hmm. and now he's owning businesses mm -hmm. and putting people on. Mm -hmm. So, same with you. I grew up listening to you, and now you're putting more people on the spotlight on them, if you look at it. So, you just kind of like our generation of that. Cause, no, I, I, I'm yeah. our generation hit maker. There's yeah. some big shit. But I'm just saying, like, that's a bit, like, yeah. that's like putting people on. Because yeah. you used to rap. You know what I'm saying? Well, you yeah. remember growing him up, talking about, you know, like from rapping, and now he's behind the rapping. It's always a blessing to be a gift to other people, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying, and help them put themselves in position to where they could put they, they people in position as well. Mm -hmm. So what's the message before we leave? Because I know when the share room posts me, some people are still confused. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's still like they not woke up. And it's funny, it's just like, y'all don't know yet. And I feel like some people be trolling, they do know. Oh, they trolling, like, for they, sure. They, they, they the trolling, thing. for sure. You can't turn on the radio or do right. that without hearing me. But ultimately, um, Call it what you want, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But just look look at look at this shit as um as motivation and just like continue to watch the journey because I'm mm -hmm. just beginning, you know what I'm saying? Like I've been in it 20, I'm just beginning and um, I'm gonna open more doors for more people, I'm gonna put more people in position and mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep, you know what I'm saying, putting out quality music. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm on. Yeah. See I got here, y'all want y'all show some love right now for hit maker in the building. Yeah. 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 Any projects that they need to download and have in their phone? Right now, uh, go get Tink new album, which is out right now, uh, Pillow Talk. Go get, uh, shit, go get everything. Go to go to YouTube, go to Genius, go to one of them and just click hit make a playlist, boy, and it's probably like 700 Are you gonna songs. produce your own YouTube? So when you start like the hits that you make your videos, kind of like you can put on there that you place to put together? I like that. Appreciate that. You got that. your YouTube, and it's still like that can be changed into that where it's kind of like this is the different. produced by right. series. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. That's hard. And then the album too, like yeah. where just multiple people, like how DJ the album. Is. Yo, the album is crazy. Everybody's on my album. I think I have the Are best producer album. No, so everybody not on it. <laughs> nah, I'm not. On, I'm not rapping no more. Bro. Right. I know, but you say everybody on it. I, I help write raps for other people. I don't yeah. write. I don't. Yeah, I know you don't, don't rap no more. But I was no just more. listening. You say everybody on it. Everybody's on it, with the exception of me. I'm talking about the whole game. Like it's mm -hmm. one of them. And when is that dropping? February. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Top of the year. Top of the year. Favorite song that. on there. Hmm. I got one with Chris Brown and Blue. I love. I got one with uh. Tink, Summer Walker, and Ty Dolla Sign that I love. All three of them are one song? Mm hmm Can you leak it? I could, but no. <laughs> Why not? Nah. Mm. What's the passcode to your phone, if you don't mind telling the world? You can change it after this. Zero, 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 zero. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, all right, y'all, well, there you go, man. Let's give a round of applause. Let's get up out of here. What do you got to say to people that sit in your face and lie to you? Evidently, I feel like they lying to themselves, so I just let them. So Kevin Gates lied to himself about the battery story.
So, who's your favorite rapper? Hmm? Who's your favorite rapper? Future. You fuck with Pass? Who that? 